with the Sea Hunt Gamefish 30 with Coffin Box. There's two versions of this boat now uh, this year. There's a forward seating one, which I made a video of, and you can find a link to in the description. Or there's this one with the Coffin Box. Just two different layouts for the front of the boat. Two great offshore boats with 60 degrees of dead rise. Yes, yeah, 60 degrees of dead rise on entry. There isn't a boat really out there with that kind of degree of dead rise on entry. Uh, 26 regulators, 28 regulators, they're like 46 to 50. So 60 is a tremendous amount of dead rise. To break that wave in the front of the boat, go over it, and give you a soft landing. Also, they have this incredible flare that runs past the driver on these boats. I'll show you how that looks. Hard top with vapor misters, powder coating, and look how far this flare comes down this boat. It doesn't quit until all the way back here. Many of the competitors, it's, they show it to come back here, but it doesn't really come all the way back here. The way to know, run your hand all the way down the side and see where that flare stops. They usually stop way before the T-top, like your Tide Waters, your Sportsman's, and your Key Wests of the world. Nice top, Vapor Misters, LED light, but uh, we have one of the nicest ones. It comes standard. Our T-top is recessed and flush to the console, saves you a lot of foot room. Our tournament chairs are standard and awesome, and the bolsters really when it picked up are one of the best driving bolsters around in the industry. Our side entry door, we were first with it in a uh, more mid-entry boat, and it's done right. Quality control is amazing at Sea Hunt, that's why the customers love us. Trim tabs are recessed and standard. LED underwater lights are standard. Here's the underwater lights on the 30 Game Fish coffin box. Dive ladder is standard. Side entry door is standard. The boat is just filled with standard equipment. Look how big and beefy the uh, the hooks are in the back of the boat. The stainless is top of the line. Walk through transom door, fresh water wash down, pull up cleats, non-skid all around the gunnels. Very deep boat, high gunnel boat. Twin 300s does 60 miles an hour. Find me a boat that does that and plays a three point Three and a half seconds? Uh, I, I don't know. Their, their whole design is so incredible at Sea Hunt that they're really becoming a legend in the uh, industry for price and uh, quality and performance. The performance is un amazing. It's new boat building, not old. Here's walking through the side entry door. This year they put a nice Sea Hunt logo and Boss logo on their live well. There's one in the back. Nice big cooler box in the rear with gaskets and pistons on everything. Here's a cutting board. There you go. Huge cooler alive. Well, see the gaskets and the piston opens up for you. Walk through transom door, some storage here. Throw some drinks or something in there. Cleaning supplies. Folding rear bench, it comes down or it comes right out. Uh, mezzanine seat, there's a few options for this chair. Most people like this mezzanine seat. It holds two more people. It's got rod holders and cup holders and a double live wall underneath on both sides. You can split it, you can pull the split out, but it's a great, great, huge live wall. Both sides of our gunnels have something a lot of people take it away that people really like. Tow rail, so when you're gaffing a fish or got a, you know, Lean over the boat, you don't fall over, you know, use this to stay on here. Big stainless drains in the back, I and mean, this is really like a nice quality fit and finish boat, higher quality than most in our league of price. Um, raw, raw water wash down here. Tackle everywhere you look around here. Big dry storage and some tackle on the wall for knives. Same on this side. There's six speakers on this boat. Two in the hard top, I'll show you. Two in the rear, two in the front. Nice tackle all the way around. This is done with dual sim rads and autopilot. This is the an option. It's a black glass dashboard and tw two dual screen 12 inch NSS sim rads with autopilot. The Infinity Stereo this year is Sirius satellite ready and will work offshore. I know that was an issue. We got it now. Bolsters on both sides. 
It's great. When you sit right here, let me tell you, it hugs your back, it stands you up straight the way you're going to ride your boat. Um, this is a powder coated toe, uh, foot rest, and it moves out of your way as well. And these this year, they also move out of your way. So uh, the bigger guys like me can get in there. Yamaha gauges. That's the Optimus steering. You can add a joystick to this boat for cheap. It's already got the autopilot and everything in there. Really nice electronics box here with friction hinges. They hold anywhere you want them to. Simrad with this uh, system VHF is already installed. Now here is the top. And as I told you, here's the Stereos Vapor Misters. That's a vapor mister. Sprays down on you when it's hot from your fresh water area. LED courtesy lights. The entire boat has LED courtesy lights all throughout. And the whole boat goes up a light blue and so does the outside underwater lights. Very cool looking at night. Look how high our gunnels are. They're some of the highest in the industry. And you see how much more walking room we have? Because our T-top is actually connected to the console and recessed to half the size. New Gamefish 30 logo this year. Now, nice, nice coffin box. Um, it's a big bed for your loved ones to sit on or people to ride comfortably in the front. It's very big. And it has huge room inside it is why they call it a coffin box. Probably a horrible name, but it is the standard in the industry to be called that. Now it pumps right up, but look how much you could use for fishing or dry storage. I mean, really, you could put huge tuna in here, stripers, whatever you want. It's insulated and it drains on overboard. Non-skid all the way around, stainless pull-up cleats, windless anchor in the front here with you could use it from the front as well with the buttons here. There's another live well and a seat in the very front of this boat. And here it is. Nice and handy. Use it as a fish box or whatever you want. It'll give you a good view from the bow here. Let's check it out from uh, front to back on interior room on this boat. Sion is easily the best value in boating. They also get great high resale value. They're a great offshore boat with high gunnels, great dead rise, and a new age body style hybrid modified that planes faster with less power than any other boat and goes faster than any other boat with that power. Bathroom on this door is very deep. It's got a large entry. It's got a big sink and a vacuum flush head. Look how deep, I can't explain how deep this is. I should put a person here, but it's very, very deep. And then you got a very easy access to all your items and battery switches right back here. Batteries right there. Very, very nicely made boat. Top selling 30 foot, 27, 25 foot offshore boats in the industry. Give us a call for more information at 732-505-3002 or log on to njoutboards.com. Thank you.